Now we're going to get a little serious, which I admit doesn't happen too often on the show, and take some time to show our viewers that we have a special place in our hearts for some of the less fortunate kids and families in the area. The first is a short video sent to us by Char Gray, showing some footage of a special concert held for Ryan Bright a few months ago. And after that, we have a poem about her cousin Aaliyah, who passed away a few months ago, written by Miss Paris Rose Castillo. Both of these kids mean a lot to a number of people, so we gave them a special section on this episode. My name is Ryan Bright. I want to do this event for today because I want to bring a message of hope to my community and share Jesus with them. They love the eye bound in them. Life C was a finalist in America last year. SOGs from California, they've done mission trips and everything. Just the youth of their communities. Now they're bringing it here because I wanted it. Going down, going down, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big, big crowd. Didn't expect what I saw out there already. <laughs> I have Crystal one from Taylor Woods. She's gonna sing one of my favorites. All around me by Flyleaf. as long as possible but there comes a time when sometimes we just have to let go and Ryan says he's ready and the most incredible incredible thing about Ryan is that he's ready to go meet God and he knows where he's going and he believes wholeheartedly in what his end is going to look like and his end is going to be his beginning so it was just an honor to be a part of that tonight it was an honor to bring my friends out from LA uh, the SOG crew to come be a part of it. It was great to see Lacey Brown and meet Sarah Wood. The whole thing was really, really good. So we just had a great time. And above all, I hope Ryan enjoyed himself, which I believe he did. We're not here. You missed out on an awesome experience. Uh, we had uh, brother uh, Ryan Bright, whosoever from the SOG crew, just uh, giving a, uh, uh, a concert to reach out to the uh, city of Pueblo, Colorado, to all the youth. And uh, we were just blessed to be here to experience the whole the whole event from the beginning to end. We had Lacey Brown, uh, we had Sarah, uh, we had Sarah Wood here local from uh, Pueblo, Colorado, and then us SOG crew from Anaheim, California. They flew us out uh, just for a special uh, event for my brother Ryan. Man. 
You are such a beautiful girl. Given a chance, you would have ruled this world. So many things to say. I can't believe the price we all have to pay. You fought so hard and gave it your all. We were all behind you 100%, just in case you were to fall. You are a great daughter and a sister. Now all I hear is, man, I'm really going to miss her. This feels like a bad dream, but it's not all what it seems. It's hard to accept the fact that you're gone, but I just know we'll see you again before too long. The lessons you taught us and the faith you brought us will never fade away. You will always be among us. I've never seen a 14-year-old fight as hard as you did. Just like softball, you slid, slid into home. Even though we may feel alone down here, I know you're walking tall up there with no fear. Our tears aren't always for sadness. How lucky you are you get to see Jesus. Even though we don't make sense to everyone here, I just know he has a big plan for you now. We all have to deal with and accept it somehow. Elia, while you were sleeping in just a few short days, you made an impact on people, and I guarantee they're changing their ways. I will tell you, though, you had awesome friends. They would stick by you until the very end. You had an amazing best friend. Your mom, dad, brother, and sisters are staying strong just for you. They love you so much, too. You all were there for each other every day. Even now, you're not too far away. We all keep you by our side, and I know you listen when we talk to you, even when we cry. Ashley, Chris, Desi, and Melissa, I know it's hard because you can't see her, but she will always be your little sister. It's amazing to me to see all the people you've touched. What a blessing. Aaliyah, you'll be clearly missed. We all love you so much. You're a beautiful angel now watching over all of us. Now we all have to stay strong just like you did. See, John, we are not all fart jokes and craziness like some of the other shows you see on TV, huh? I don't know, we're not. We're all round round it, and we try to give recognition to all types of people in the area. We show love to everybody, even the hippies playing frisbee golf. <laughs>